Okay, let's get right into it. This is the monthly chart on the Kiwi versus USD. We can see price reacting to this level right here. Point six five two nine, but I like this level better up here. Reason being, this leg down did not take out this pivot low, so we might just have this pullback be short lived, only to move higher. Not sure yet. best levels up here so I'm going to move that now that level was formed back in 2015 so we'll mark it be able to find some entries on a lower time frame. Point five eight might be a level of interest. You know again. market but that level was formed in 2009 this was another level got a rally base rally base rally the level worked twice so potentially next time if price comes back it breaches the level Potentially, okay, let's go to the weekly chart. So, longer term, we have this down, this downtrend. You can call this a short trend up but it's really just a pullback potentially to take it back down right now you have consolidation so price has been range bound since November of last year Okay, let's go to the daily chart. So right now we're just pretty much waiting for, waiting for a breakout in either direction. This was a nice level. 
Got a level over here. Alright. That's 0.64. This is the four hour chart. We want to look at the daily chart. Okay. I like the structure. Okay. Potentially we have a bull trap set up. I would anticipate price at least pausing down this at the 0.61. But other than that, don't see much stopping price from declining. We'll look at this zone a little bit. on the four-hour chart. Let's make that a little bit more pinkish. Okay. Five eight. Now I'm going to take that off. All right, so if you play the range, you can get chopped up. This is the flower chart, but this was a nice little zone, probably on a one hour chart, right? Price is holding or held twice. Yeah, that was a beautiful zone based on the volume. So we have a short term trend on the forward chart. That's down. Look to see a break of the range on the daily chart to potentially look for pullbacks to take it down. If price does if price rises and breaches the zone on the upside, potentially we have a bull trap at Point six six zero zero zero. So we just have to wait and see. 
once we break the zone in either case I'll do another analysis I will I will mark off this though as an area where th there should be at least a reaction okay to next time